Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how scientists discover the sun's nemesis that shed light on star formation. Scientists in the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory at Harvard University have discovered a nemesis of the sun. The study, published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, provides evidence that all stars are born in pairs. According to astronomer Stephen Stahler, we ran a series of statistical models to see if we could account for the relative populations of young single stars and binaries of all separations in the Perseus molecular cloud, and the only model that could reproduce the data was one in which all stars form initially as wide binaries. Our work is a step forward in understanding both how binaries form and also the role that binaries play in early stellar evolution, he added. Nemesis had kicked an asteroid into Earth's orbit that collided with our planet and exterminated the dinosaurs. The sun's sibling most likely escaped and mixed with all the other stars in our region of the Milky Way galaxy, never to be seen again. The Sun appears to be far less active than similar stars in terms of brightness variations caused by sunspots and other phenomena. An examination of 369 stars, similar to the Sun in surface temperatures, size and rotation period. It takes the Sun about 25 days to rotate once on its axis, showed that they displayed on average five times more brightness variability than the Sun. Radio waves from a dense cocoon of dust that was located 600 light years ago were mapped out by researchers in a survey called the VLA Nascent Disk and Multiplicity Survey. The key here is that no one looked before in a systematic way at the relation of real young stars to the clouds that spawned them, Stahler said. Our work is a step forward in understanding both how binaries form and also the role that binaries play in early stellar evolution. We now believe that most stars, which are quite similar to our own sun, form as binaries. I think we have the strongest evidence to date for such an assertion. The sun, essentially a hot ball of hydrogen and helium, is an average-sized star that formed more than 4.5 billion years ago and is roughly halfway through its lifespan. Its diameter is about 8,64,000 miles. Its surface temperature is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.